everyone, it's me Tins. I'm back with a collective haul. So me and my bestie is Miss Heather Nicole. She's actually my real friend in real life. We went to college together and then she graduated and left and she went to grad school. So anyway, we have decided to do a collective haul. Like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A simultaneous select collective haul. So her video will be a response to mine. My video will be a response to her. So check hers out. Now this haul is probably, this is the very first collective haul I've ever done. So try to get through it pretty quickly and show you all. And this is stuff I've gotten over like a two week time span. So it's not like I just went out and bought a lot of this stuff like yesterday. And I'll tell you right now I have no makeup on because, well first of all, today I was going to do this cute, really cute St. Patrick's Day look and I ended up getting a little green happy, then tried to tone it down, then started running late for work and never had time to complete the rest of my makeup. So I literally had raccoon eyes and looked crazy. So anyway, I was going to do a video but I'm not sure. I got this little bump right here and I have a little bump right here so... I think I've just been switching products too too much lately and probably just going to give it a rest, but I might have a tutorial coming soon. Anyway, getting to the haul, I am going to just start off with probably the two products that I was most excited about when I got them. I got the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I got the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. And this one is the newest one. It's supposed to be kind of a shimmery look to it. Um, kind of a shimmery, I think they call it like a champagne finish. But it's still just like the other one. You can't see it once you put it on. Some people, I guess on my complexion you really can't. Some people say that they can use it as just like an eyeshadow. And that didn't work for me. But anyway, uh, this one was 16 I think, from Sephora, and this one was 17 and the packaging is quite different, but it's the same, uh, bottle and shape, and this one has, I don't know, it's a little bit more goopy, just coming out of the tube, so, I don't know about that, I don't, I don't like that, I saw little bubbles. But anyway, so, got those two. Ooh, there's a nice of clear, I guess, whatever it's made with. I might set that up, but anyway. Um, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. I also got from Sephora one of their uh, eyeliner pencils. supposed to be a coal, waterproof coal liner. These, I mean, when I swatch it, doesn't that look great? But on my eye, um, they just didn't work. It just doesn't work very well. I don't know. So I tried to work with it several times, but anyway. And on this end, I'm guessing this is a smudger, eraser. I don't know. For those of you who shop at Sephora and you've used their their eyeliners, let me know what that is. But probably buying that again. That was like eight bucks, and that's for like store brand. So yeah. anyway. And I think, yeah, it was $8. Then I went to Michael's after that and got some MAC dupes for brushes. And then just got some random brushes. I got these really long, which I'm not sure at the camera, these really long paint brushes. And you can use this kind of as a fan brush. It's really, really soft. Um, I've only used it like once or twice. But just, I was just really testing it out. Then I got this pointed brush, which... I would probably say use this brush with caution, but it's a really good crease blush. For one, you don't want to poke yourself in the socket with it. And for two, it is quite pointy. But these are like $2.99. I figure if I don't, I'm really artsy, artsy fartsy. So if I don't do makeup with them, I can always paint with them, like for real. I got a MAC 228 dupe from the Low Cordell Maxine Smop. This is a fourth of an inch. And I have pretty much compare the difference in these. The MAC one is a little bit more, well it's actually a lot more dense, but they are really exactly the same size. The MAC one, the brushes are denser, and I want to say that might be a little bit, um, they're more tightly packed and they're probably a little bit like rougher, thicker, I don't know. I got this really, really awesome low Cornell, um, 
It's called a Spotter 7650. It's a black low cornell. Super, super good for eyeliner. I mean, it gets right there on the lash line. And then I got the famous low cornell 38 um, 239 dupe. Been using that a lot lately, so I don't know when I'm planning about 239. I have the little holiday version, I really like that one. And then I have the low cornell now. As you can see, I have <coughs> I have green on it from my look today, which didn't turn out great. And then I got pretty much almost like a 242 dupe, and this is the low cornell number eight brush, just a black slim. It's just kind of like a larger flat shader brush. Super, super soft. I want to say it's a, it's a lot softer than my actual real 242. Okay, moving on. I went to Walgreens like about two Saturdays ago. Um, we were, me and my boyfriend were in town visiting his family, and I was like, just randomly wanted to stop at Walgreens and see what they had. I know they always have buy one, get one free or something going. Prestige, I guess they were either getting rid of the line, or maybe they were getting some of their new line in, but they end up having some lip liners on sale for like super cheap. I got these for all like a dollar, dollar twenty, dollar and whatever. I got this really pretty red one. It's called True Red. That's what it looks like on. And these are very, very smooth. This one says it's waterproof. I got this gloss one. Um, it's really just like a lip liner gloss. So if you were to line your lips and go over that lip liner, um, that way your lip liner wouldn't look dry. So it's pretty much just called a a light shine sheer lip gloss liner. And the shade is Wild Orchid. And then this is my favorite one actually. This is a prestige lip liner in plum. I love plum lipsticks and plum why well, anything plum. I think it just really does really nice on my complexion. So that's it for those. Really am liking that plum liner. And then the red is great too. Whenever I get bold enough to do a red look. Um, the same day at Walgreens I got this really pretty Sally Hansen nail polish. So taking my acrylics off very soon. So I can't wait to try that out on my fingernails. Then it just came like in a two pack with the... Um, Sally Hansen Mega Shine Extended Wear Coat, Top Coat. I will say this this didn't work very well on top of my um, my acrylics. Uh, a good nail polish for that is the Maybelline Finish Advanced Wear. This made my acrylics, like, it just is not a good clear coat. It, it literally is it's peeling off. Anyway, moving on. I went to Walmart, and I've been meaning to get, like, spray balls for the longest. One for my mixing medium. So I got this, and this is 97 cent. And that's just my mixing medium in there. And then I want to get one. This is also for like 97 cents for my deep for my um, leave-in conditioner. So really happy about those. You can find these in the travel section at Walmart, like the um, trial size products. They're like 97 cents. Really good. And then that same day, I got the L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate. Um, shampoo and conditioner, and it's the moisture kind. This the shampoo is rat rosemary juniper, and the sh conditioner is rosemary mint. Now, funny thing with these, I'm going to do a formal review. Is that it says that they're sulfate free, but if you know anything about sulfates, you know that sodium lauryl sulfate is a sulfate clearly, and this has sodium lauryl so sulfatinate. And then disodium, laurel, so, so full, so tonight, and then sodium, laurel, something, something, something. So I don't understand why there's still sodium, laurel, so for something, something, something in these, if they're supposed to be sulfate free. But whatever. And then there's this one. First couple of products are water, cideral, alcohol, glycerin, and some other product I can't pronounce. This is supposed to be 100% vegan free, no drying salts, blah, 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 blah. I'll do a form review on those, but I've only used them once, so I don't really have, don't want to say too much about them before I give them a clear, a clean shot. Um, also got the Aussie 3 Minute Reconstructor. I've only used this once. Like I said, I don't want to give a form review about it yet, but I will say it's, it has a very strong scent to it. When I wash my hair, when I put it on my hair, I could smell it in my hair for like the next three days. Which is cool. It doesn't have a bad smell. It, it does have quite a, quite a strong smell. It smells a lot like the Aussie hair smell.